what is going on knicks nation welcome back to the channel today is game day for these new york knicks today is not the best day for us we all know what happened this morning the news broke i made a video on it this morning i went live on bleacher report to break it down julius randall being done for the rest of the season with the shoulder injury electing to get shoulder surgery i definitely want to share my thoughts more about that and overall go over tonight's matchup against the sacramento kings the new york knicks are unfortunately on a three game losing streak but i'm here to tell you guys we got to get that vibes back up i'm not allowing the three game losing streak and julius randall to be officially out for the year to ruin the vibes amongst this jet uh this knicks fan base bro i'm not gonna let it happen so it's my job here to restore the positivity and bring back a W tonight against the Sacramento Kings, a team who has the same exact record as the New York Knicks. This is a really big game for the New York Knicks. I'm excited to break it all down. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day here. We're live on Knicks Media, and the Knicks are back at the Garden after losing another game to the Miami Heat. Okay, now we're one game back from the Cleveland Cavaliers. We're a half game back from the Orlando Magic. We're two and a half games back from the Milwaukee Bucks. So let's stop pretending that we're super far off of the upper echelon of the playoffs. Please, Knicks fans, that's all I ask of you guys. So let's get straight into business here. Don't forget to hit the like button. On your way into the show, we're live on Knicks Media to break down the Knicks matchup against these Sacramento Kings. I'm excited to break it all down. Welcome to the show, everybody. Let's get it going. So far, I do want to talk about that Miami Heat game real quick. You know, that game was frustrating. We were able to claw our way all the way back and tie it up in the fourth quarter. It was an uphill battle all game long. But the Knicks and Terry Rozier and the Miami Heat were just able to figure out a way to separate themselves and get the job done at the end of the day, which definitely stung because we needed that win. And now the Miami Heat are red hot all of a sudden. Okay, the Miami Heat are absolutely breathing down our necks for the fifth seed all of a sudden. So this is definitely some adversity the New York Knicks are dealing with really at the end of the season. And I think we can all agree that we were hopeful, at least, that the Knicks would be able to go into the playoffs with some positive momentum. Okay, maybe get Julius back and OG back. Now we know Julius is done for the year. And now we're hopeful that OG Ananobi is actually going to return. Okay, I still got hope on that. Now, OG returning is still up in the air. Like, we don't know when that will be. But I'm really excited to see what is going to happen regarding the New York Knicks in tonight's matchup and for the rest of the season. Now, you know, talking about the Sacramento Kings squad, they have a very uh, similar season as these Knicks. Again, same exact record, 44 and 31. And I am really curious. I don't even know what the odds are for this game, to be honest. Let's check it out together. I'm hoping the Knicks are favored. I think they should be, even though they're on a three-game losing streak. I'd be shocked if they're not favored at Madison Square Garden against a team like the Sacramento Kings that they're pretty evenly matched. Yes, they are the favorites. So if you go to BetUS Sportsbook, guys, you check out their uh, site. They got a three and a half point spread in their favor for the New York Knicks. So I find that a little refreshing. I'm not going to lie. I absolutely find this refreshing. Now, the only reason why I find it refreshing is that it really gives me more confidence that the Knicks will be able to get the job done tonight. To be honest, you know, at, at minus three and a half, the Knicks are minus 160 to win the game outright. The over-under is at 213. The Sacramento Kings are a very high-scoring team. I'm pretty sure the Knicks beat them earlier in the year when they were in Sacramento, if I'm not mistaken. That was a big, big game um, that the Knicks were able to get the job done when they're on their West Coast trip. So can they be able to sweep the Sacramento Kings in this game? So here are the odds presented by BetUS. I'm really excited to see where these odds uh, end up for these New York Knicks. Shout out to our sponsor at BetUS. BetUS is the number one online sports book in which they are currently offering a 125% deposit match up to $2,500 on your first three deposits. That means if you put $500, you will have $1,250 to play with. BetUS has 24-7 customer service and 24-hour payouts. Click the top link in the description to receive your bonus. We are also giving away $125 in free play 
The first five people to DM their account to me showing their account number on Twitter will receive $25 in free play. You guys know where to find me on Twitter. That's at NYNix underscore media. Click that link down below in the description, guys. Shout out to BetUS. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins. Shout out to BetUS. Now, getting into the tonight's matchup, um, I'm really curious to see how the Knicks are going to be able to figure out a way mentally to get through this. I think now is the biggest test of adversity for this Knicks team. We got Daniel in the chat. Yo, what's up, bro? Thank you for tuning in. I think this is a, a big test for the adversity, right? Because this is where teams get tested. This is where you find the true identity of a squad when not only you're getting injured, bad injury news about a, a player specifically not returning or he's out for a long period of time, and you're losing, how can you come together as a squad and figure out a way to claw your way out and get back on the winning side of things? And I think that the Knicks have proven this season that they've been able to do that consistently, right? We've hit a lot of walls of adversity this season. First, it was Mitchell Robinson in December being out with ankle surgery. Hartenstein steps in. He has a breakout season, and it was he's been able to hold it down all the way up until this moment at the center spot. That's the first adversity, okay? The Knicks made a trade. OG comes in, Randall goes down with an injury, you plug in Precious Achua, and now all of a sudden, vibes are like high with the nine-game winning streak, and then the vibes are low. The Knicks started losing games after OG went down, after Randall went down. The Knicks were scrambling. They made a trade for Boyan Bogdanovich and Alec Burks. Things weren't working. They were like, they won four of the last 10 games. The vibes weren't high, but then what did the Knicks do? They found their identity. They figured themselves out. They went on a little three-game winning streak, and then went on a little four-game win streak. They went to the West Coast, a really tough schedule. It was able to go three and one on the West Coast, which is big time at the time. I'm, don't forget about that. And then we come back. OG re-aggravates his injury. He's out now, and I think the Knicks are uh, facing another little uh, hurdle here. And I think that this hurdle is going to either swing the Knicks in two different ways. I think this is going to either wake them up and we're going to start seeing winning the, the same winning basketball team we saw all season long and get the job done tonight and then the, the games to come to get that fourth seat or that third seat to head into the NBA playoffs with a lot of momentum or they spiral downward and they lose tonight. It's a four-game losing streak and then now we're worried about even being the sixth seed. So there's two ways the Knicks can go tonight. Tonight's a really big game, which is why we're live right now talking about it here on the channel. So, folks, hit that like button for your boy. I, I appreciate you guys. Bodega Bogey is about to go crazy. Book it. Oh, I wish. That would be refreshing. He hasn't been able to do that all season long. I would absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. So, you see what the Knicks are doing right now. And I just want to, like, ground Knicks fans because I'm seeing a lot of panic. And, of course, it's devastating to hear the news about Julius Randle. Absolutely. But now we have back-to-back -back games, okay? We have a game tonight, and then we're in Chicago tomorrow. And then we're in Milwaukee Sunday. We're in Chicago again. We're in Boston. And then we're home to finish off the season in Brooklyn and Chicago. So the Knicks, I mean, we got how many games left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games remaining. The Knicks got to win five of the last seven games. If they got to. If they really want to go into the postseason with some positive momentum, that should be the goal. And I think that tonight is really going to be a big test for the squad. Jalen Brunson led the Mavericks to the Western Conference Finals with nobodies. Our team is much better than theirs. See, this is the positive vibes I absolutely live for. Thank you for those positive vibes. Don't forget to hit the like button, folks. The Knicks are live tonight at Madison Square Garden. I mean, those three games that we lost, it's not like we're getting blown out. The Miami Heat were definitely in control that entire game. The Knicks were able to claw their way back and tie it up until the Heat kind of separated themselves with the final few minutes in the game. But a heartbreaker against the Spurs, a heartbreaker against the Thunder, a game I was in attendance for, and now a, a big-time disappointing loss against the Miami Heat, a team that we just can't stand. And now... They're, they're in a position here in the New York Knicks. They got to be able to get this job done, okay? Because there's a lot of teams around the Eastern Conference that's looking up at the Knicks. We got the Sixers in the Heat facing off tonight. That's a big game. That's a big game for the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers. I believe Joel Embiid is returning soon. If it's not tonight, he's coming back soon. Because you got the Miami Heat two games back from the Knicks and the Pacers two games back, Okay. I mean, the last thing we need is keep losing, and all of a sudden the Knicks fell down to the seventh seed because the, the Eastern Conference is so jammed tight right now that the Knicks cannot afford losing these types of games. Okay, they went on a little three-game lose streak. Now let's wake up a little bit. 
Let's get back on the winning track. Let's get the job done. And the Knicks have proven they can do it too. We beat the Kings earlier this year with, I think OG was playing in that game, but he was like not himself. Like we've beat teams with the same exact lineup that we have. And I still think that this Knicks team is built to be able to beat anybody. How far they can go in the postseason without Julius Randle returning, I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. And I understand that it's a devastating thing. But if if OG can eventually come back for the NBA playoffs and Jalen Brunson's playing the way that he's been playing all season long, we're going to be just fine. We're going to be just fine. I, I genuinely believe that. I'm not even trying to, like, lie to you guys. Like, Knicks fans, let me know in the chat right now. Do you believe in that too? Or are you, like, checked out right now? Are you checked out thinking about these Knicks? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section right now, Knicks fans. How are you feeling? Are you checked out? Because of the news? Or do you still believe that this Knicks team's got what it takes, baby? I, I feel like a lot of Knicks fans are not hyped. They don't have any positive energy right now. I don't like it. I don't like it. We need the positive energy restored, Knicks fans. Because let's not forget about the excellence of this Knicks team lately. Of what Jalen Brunson's doing. Of what Josh Hart's been doing. Let's not get narrow-minded and think that a three-game losing streak is the end of the world. It sucks. Don't get me wrong. But we're going to be able to get back on track and get the job done tonight. I promise you that. How about that? I'm guaranteeing a dub tonight. I'm manifesting one. The Knicks are going to get the job done. We're going to see a Jalen Brunson masterclass. We're going to see Isaiah Hartenstein feast on the boards. We're going to see Mitchell Robinson return to action and look like a, the dog that he is. I'm telling you guys that right now. Keith's in the chat. We're going to be spent by the time the playoffs come. We have two... We have to fight too hard every night. The news is devastating. Yeah, the news is absolutely devastating. Um, when it comes to the playoffs, man, we just got to be ready to go and fully healthy, fully loaded. I don't know when OG's returning. I'm definitely not expecting him to come back at least this week, maybe hopefully next week, right before the NBA playoffs. But you see what the development of guys like Deuce McBride is doing. You see what this Knicks team has been done, been doing all year long. I still believe. I still believe, bro, and you should too. Of course, it's devastating news, but we got to be able to stay afloat, Knicks Nation. We got to be able to stay afloat. I ain't giving up hope, and you should not either. I promise you that right now, we should be able to restore the balance and get the job done for these New York Knicks. I get that the vibes are extremely low right now amongst the Knicks fan base, and it's sad to see. It really is. I mean, you see all the news, all the Knicks creators. Now what? Julius Randle. Season-ending shoulder surgery, bro. Like, that is definitely, definitely breaking news. That is devastating Knicks fans. Because we've been waiting for two months for news. And now his season's done? Ah, It's sad, bro. Knicks fans don't deserve this. As, as a Jets fan, I know what it's like to, for an injury to ruin everything. And I, luckily for the Knicks, it's not like the injury just happened and now we have to be able to figure out a way to win basketball games without Julius Randle. No, that's not the case. The Knicks have been able to win basketball games without Julius Randle up until this point. Okay? They've adapted. They've evolved. They've adjusted. They've figured out ways to get job done without Julius. So that's something that I just want to remind Knicks fans. We've been able to win without Julius. Why can't we keep doing it? And I'm the biggest Julius fan out there. A lot of I've been debating with Knicks fans forever about Julius Randle that he's actually a very impactful piece to this Knicks team. And you'll come to realize, and now my point's being proven. Drip Moore's in the chat. You're what's up, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is gonna turn the Knicks up. This is the energy I love. Wild boy Trey. Eastern Conference Finals. Here we come. 99 vibes all over again. This is the energy. This is the energy we need. 1999 all over again. Anything is possible. Thank you. Wild Boy Trey, for the freaking vibes right now. The vibes. We need these vibes. Knicks fans, come on now. Let's not give up. Let's not give up. Let's go, folks. Let's get it. Hit that like button for your boy. We are figuring things out. We are figuring things out together. And I think the one thing that we've learned about this Knicks team is that they fight, okay? They know what it takes. They know how to get the job done with the injuries still on this Knicks roster. We've been able to win without Julius Randle up until this point. 
We've been able to win without OG up until this point. Why can't they keep doing it? Because they lost three in a row? I don't think that's going to keep up. They've dealt with adversity all year long. I think they can continue to do it. Resilience. Facts. The resilience factor is there. Let's see it. I'm ready. Let's go. Woo! Maybe this is something that the Knicks needed, this little three-game losing streak to get back on track to figure out their identity. You never know. There's a lot of things, a lot of different things that you can look forward to. <coughs> big game tonight, though. Oh, my God, tonight's big. If you win tonight, you can take a deep breath of, like, a sigh of relief if you're a Knicks fan. Because losing four in a row definitely is scary. Okay? That's not something we want to get. That's not something we want to do. Absolutely not. I don't think they will. I'm not going to manifest that. But I do feel like the Knicks have a chance here. I think they're going to come out guns blazing, especially tonight. Some Rocky Four motivation. Let's go out and win it for number 30. That's the vibes we like to see from APAP right there. Let's go out there. Guns blazing, baby. And go crazy tonight. This Knicks team is definitely built for that. They could do that. 100%. They could and they will. New York is built and Deuce is progressing. Yeah, Deuce had a great game against Miami. Unfortunately, we're not able to get the job done, but that clutch shot to give the Knicks that tie, that tie, that was big time. Deuce continues to thrive, baby. You absolutely love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. So we're sitting here waiting for the playoffs to start in literally two weeks, by the way. Isn't that crazy? There's two weeks left of the regular season. We're at we're in the final stretch, folks. Seven games left. Seven games. That's crazy. Big games coming from Bogey. You hope. I'll be honest, I've been very underwhelmed with Bogey. Come on, Bogey. We're rooting for you. Wake up, Bogey. Bogey. Where you been, brother? Where have you been? Now, we had 16 points in 19 minutes last game, so maybe that's some momentum he can carry into, right? I mean, you saw what, what the Knicks did against the Heat. Deuce had a great game with 24 points. Dante with 31. Jalen Brunson was double-teamed all night long and was struggling. 5 of 18 from the field, but he had 20 and 10. And um, Isaiah Hartenstein, only one rebound. Can't have that. Can't have that. We got We got killed on the boards in that game. And the Knicks got to figure out a way to get the job done. Okay? No excuses anymore. This is no excuses for this Knicks team tonight. We've been proven to be able to win games without Julius all season long. So let's get the job done. No worries. We aren't getting out of the first round anyway. Come on, Ta Cowboys. Why aren't we getting out of the first round? We did it last year. We'll do it again this year. We'll do it again this year. I'll say it until proven otherwise. Deuce about to act a fool out there. Sign me up for that. Sign me up, world boy Trey. However, the season plays out. It's not a finished product, and we have seen progress. Trading quick and RJ, they have flexibility, and Deuce has stepped up his play. Yeah, and we have Deuce for another three years under a cheap, cheap, cheap deal. That is huge for the Knicks' long-term success. We got Deuce for pennies, bro. P -p pennies That's big time. Big time stuff. Absolutely love it. <sighs> well, we shall see what happens tonight, guys. We shall see. I think that the Knicks are going to be able to get the job done against Sacramento. They beat them earlier this year. It's an even matchup. The Knicks are three and a half point favorites. Cap dope, my boy. Thank you so much, man. I do, pre I do appreciate that. This cap, back of it's sick with the blue and orange. NBA logo, but we got to get the dub, bro. <laughs> Appreciate it. Cavaliers to uh, going to be first round opponent. You think it's going to be a four and five seed again? That'd be crazy. We need consistently from the other guys. JB cannot carry this team throughout the entire playoffs. Yeah, you're hundred percent right. I cannot debate you on that. We need the whole team to step up. When Jalen's not playing his best, we also need guys around him to step up. And Precious is about to look like a stud. World Boy Trey, you're my favorite right now. You're my favorite. We need 
the vibes, and it's being restored by World Boy Trey. Wild Boy Trey. Let's go. Let's go. I think the Knicks are going to get the job done tonight. Come on now. Man, we need this. We need this tonight, man. I'm 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 sensing a sense of panic from the Knicks fans that I hate to see, and I get it. The bad news of Randall mixed in with the the three-game losing streak and heartbreaking fashion. Ugh, we shall see. But folks, we're gonna wrap up the show here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Knicks Media live preview show. This show is being brought to you and powered by BetUS. Again, click the link down below in the description. Open up your account. I appreciate you guys big time. I love you all. Let's go, Knicks. Let's keep the vibes high. Let's get the dub tonight. Let's get this dub tonight, Knicks Nation. Love you all. Thank you for all the support. I'll catch you guys later. Peace and love as always. Your boys out. Peace out. Let's go, Knicks.